Hey guys, Tom here, back in the shop with the Hilltop Machine Works. So, got another project. Some of you guys may recognize this nice little package. Gotta love it when you get stuff from Monarch, right? Anyways, the sight glasses on the Model K are really cloudy. Um, Keith Rucker has the same Model K Monarch lathe, and he uh, he did a video showing his replacements. Um, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I need to do the same thing." So I picked up two sight glasses. This is the one for the back that uh, shows the oil level, and then this one here is uh, just a clear one, but it shows that the uh, the oil circulated system is actually working. So let me take you over to the lathe and uh, show you what I'm talking about. So I got you over here at the lathe. And as you can tell, you can't even see anything in this sight glass. It's all dark. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this tag off. It's not too bad, but it uh, could use some freshening up. And then also get you down here you noticed said the previous owner got happy when he painted this thing and painted over all the tags except for this one and then the uh, feed rate and threading chart so I'm probably gonna pull this one off too and um, freshen this one up and then let me get you over to the back and I'll show you what that uh, back sight glass looks like so here's the uh, the oil level back glass you can see at least you can see the oil level line but you can't see anything behind it said so it's just so old and cloudy so the plan is I need to drain that below the sight glass opening and then I will pull the top off pop the glasses out and then uh, get them in so it'll be a short quick easy almost a down and dirty but not as short so let me uh, start prepping this and I'll uh, bring you guys back here all right so the plates coming off pretty easy thanks to this uh, tack remover screwdriver gizmo thing somebody mentioned in the comments on uh, Keith Rucker's video when he did this so it's working out quite well whoever mentioned that I appreciate it Easy breezy. Huh. Cool. Check that out. All right, one down. Let me uh, get this other one pulled off down here. quite easy hopefully this other one will too all right nice so I'm over here at the blast cabinet this is your standard Harbor Freight it's the biggest one they sell uh, there's several YouTube videos on upgrading it which is what I've done I added a pedal down there in the bottom also to suck out the dust a lot better but not lose it picked up one of those cyclones off of uh, eBay I think it was connected it there another upgrade put uh, a switch for the light and a receptacle and as you can see it's a lot brighter in there another upgrade was 
I dropped the grate down because it usually set here dropped it down there upgraded with a better gun and also put that uh, deflector in over there to help from sucking up so much of the uh, media blast so anyways just finished up there's the plate just came out pretty nice so let me uh, degrease her and clean her up and we'll get a coat of paint on her all right so they are all cleaned up out of the sandblaster and then I degreased them got the surfaces all ready for painting I went ahead and pulled this one out of the back it's uh, close to the oil fill so that's what they look like looking good let me go get some uh, rattle can spray paint and get some color on this so I've been uh, doing a little sand in here this one came out nice this is on the back this one is on the front you can see it's uh, got some dings and uh, that's about the best I can get it since it's not laying flat even digging it out with uh, an exacto knife so what I'm going to do is do a little work on the big one here just have a uh, one by two block of aluminum and some 180 grit and I am just hitting the high spots So that's what it looks like as I sand away. So I am going to continue on. I'm not going to bore you with it. And um, once I get it done, I'll bring you guys back. Well, there she is, all sanded. Obviously, it looks way better than it did. I got happy at a couple spots with the sanding block, but no biggie. So I've got uh, got some clear. I'm going to shoot it, and then once it dries. We'll get these things uh, back on with some drive screws. So let me spray this and let it dry. And uh, we'll move on. So i got a coat of uh, clear enamel on them. They look good. So just kind of waiting for them to dry right now. I think I'll give you a sneak peek before I start putting them on the lathe. So I cleaned out the holes. Yeah, it's time to get this baby on. going. Run away dry screw. Sweet. Looks a lot better than it did. Got the headstock cover off. Figure I'd give you a shot of what it looks like in the uh, in the head here for those guys that uh, don't own a Monarch. 
seems to be the tried and true setup. <clears throat> this is a 1964 model and this uh, gear arrangement looks like uh, the same going all the way back to uh, the beginning of the manufacture, at least in the 1940 models that I've seen. So anyways, I got to drain the oil level down just below that uh, oil fill glass site and then um, we can start punching these things out and put the new ones in. All right, well, hopefully you can see I got uh, the old one popped out. The plan is I'm going to put a little skim coat of silicone in there. And then I will knock this baby in and we'll have a sight glass so we can see the, uh, see the system oiling. Okay, one sight glass installed. All I did was got her in there. I already put a skim. Uh, yeah. A little skim coat of the silicone in there. And used this uh, piece of aluminum block. Tapped her in. And she's sitting pretty, so that's one down. Let's get to the back and uh, get that other one done. Well, the other one's popped out. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see that. Wow. And this is what's going in. What a difference, huh? So, let me get a little skim coat of silicone here so she don't leak. tap this baby in and this job will be complete once I put the top back on. Uh, if I can get in here without knocking the camera in my rotary face converter. Good. Get a little light on her. See if I can bring you in better. So here she is, all ready to go. Cool. Okay, it's been a couple days. We're back in the shop. Uh, plenty of time for the silicone to set up. I just added the oil to it. So, as you can see, we are looking good. Uh, no leaks, and not even weeping, so it looks like it's set good. Let's go around to the front. Yeah, the front is looking good so let me fire this thing up and let's see how she circulates well I got it running but the tubes not coming out uh, any oil in front of the sight glass so I know the tube is clean because I cleaned all the tubes when I first got her so I'm going to have to go back in and see what's going on in the circulation. But RPM gauge is working that I uh, picked up off eBay, 273 and we are in uh, 273. Alright anyways let me see what's going on with that and um, actually I guess I got a little bit of oil there coming. All right, well, if it's working good, great. If not, I'll dig into it. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and uh, following on this little project. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.
Yeah.